They were the best and the brightest, but their brilliant careers were cut short. A statement issued by the High Court revealed an independent investigation found six young associates had been sexually harassed by former Justice Dyson Hayden. My clients will be pursuing compensation both from the Commonwealth and from Dyson Hayden. The development has prompted calls for Mr Hayden to be stripped of his Order of Australia. Are Australian honours given to everyone except those who are convicted in court? There should be a proper process to deal with this. There will be. They're very serious allegations. They're very concerning and very disturbing. Uh, and on that basis, um, I would expect those processes to do their job. Chief Justice Susan Kiefel has apologised to the women and adopted recommendations including to review induction processes, establish a support person for associates and make clear to associates that their duties do not include an obligation to attend social functions. And I think that the things that she has suggested that the High Court will be doing should be replicated um, in courts across the, the country if they're not already. Adrian Morton says the inquiry result is a wake-up call for the profession, where the result of complaining for young female lawyers can be career-ending. But it's not just junior lawyers. Former ACT Law Society President Nor Bloomer has her own story about allegedly being groped by Dyson Hayden at the University of Canberra Law Ball in 2013. She made a lengthy note at the time and complained to the university, which has confirmed the communication with the ABC. But even she didn't want to press it further. The reason that uh, these matters weren't aired or weren't haven't been pursued. Uh, to this point, uh, and that is a visceral fear of Dyson Hayden's power. The three women taking legal action have now all left the law. This has been um, a secret for so long. This has had a huge impact on their lives. Um, there is still sadness um, amongst my clients about the loss of their careers. Dyson Hayden's lawyers have told the Sydney Morning Herald he denies any allegation of predatory behaviour and if he's caused offence, it was unintended and he apologises. Elizabeth Byrne, ABC News, Canberra.